Once you open DaVinci Resolve, start by creating a new Fusion Composition. Right click and click on the new Fusion Composition. You can rename it, whatever you like. Let's click on it and you'll be taken to the Fusion page. So we have our media out. We need to add our text plus node. From here, you can enter your text. I will use cinematic here. To see your text, you just drag it onto the viewer and the viewer will display it. Here, we can change the font style and weight. I'm going to keep it as open sans and I just want to change the font weight to light. We also want to increase the tracking size to something like that. And just like that, it's starting to look more cinematic. The next step is to add our modifiers. As you can see, the modifiers tab is grayed out, which makes it inaccessible. To make it accessible, we have to right click in this box. Here we have all these different modifiers. We need to use the follower modifier. When you click on it, you can see it's now enabled. Now we need to change the delay amount. Let's set this to around 2. Type it in 2 and the order. If you want it to reveal linearly, you can set this to left to right or right to left. But we want it to be random. So we are going to select random, but one by one. Then we go to the shading tab. As you can see, we have a lot of options. To animate, you can animate opacity, color, and all these different things. We need to animate the softness. So let's expand the softness. Then we will create a keyframe. So make sure your playhead is at the first frame. You can check it over here. It's at the first frame zero. We need to create our keyframe. Let's click on the time and icon to make our keyframe on both X and Y. Here we want the softness at the maximum on both X and Y. Now we will move to the 30th frame and bring it down to zero. Now, if you play this, you will have this animation. That's pretty much how to create this simple cinematic title inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you want to use this in your videos, make sure that you connect this text node to the media out. Let's go back to the Edit tab and drag in our background. I'm going to use this footage. Let's put our Fusion Composition clip on top of our footage. Now we can just trim our clips to match the length. If we go to the very first frame of our clip, you can see the text is already visible and has a blur going on. I don't like this. What you can do is create a simple opacity keyframe. On the right side, you have the opacity. It's not visible. Make sure your Inspector tab is enabled. On the opacity, we will create a keyframe on the first frame. You want the opacity at zero. Around five to six frames in, we want the opacity at 100. Now it should look way better. All you have to do now is render out the video by going to the Deliver tab. So that's it. That's how to create a simple blurry cinematic title in DaVinci Resolve. Drop your comments and questions below. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like below and subscribe to the channel. Hope to see everybody on the next one. Until next time.